Hello and welcome to episode 48 of Legacy Gaming with Atari Man 71. I am playing through my collection of Atari 2600 cartridges currently, and I have over 450 games, approximately 400 of which are unique. Some are relabeled or rebranded, and I will only play the unique games here. I do not intend to play the rebranded games because they're essentially the same. Um, I will touch on them a little bit occasionally, but, um, you know, all in all, I'll, I'll skip a lot of them. I skipped a lot of the Sears games for that reason. So if you like retro gaming, or as I call this, legacy gaming, because this is basically the, the start of home, home console gaming, um, please like, please subscribe, please follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Um, like my videos there. Your, if there's something you'd like to see, please leave a comment in the chat here on Twitch or in YouTube on the comments section. And then also, I'm very active on Twitter. I put additional content on Twitter up there all the time. So please leave, send me a message on Twitter and I will get back to you. So we finally reached pitfall week and although I appear kind of invisible, well, not really invisible, I'm wearing my pitfall shirt, my pitfall hat. So I'm gonna wear my hat all week. I know it looks a little silly because I'm somewhat invisible. Um, I'll, I'll wear a different shirt, but I'm going to wear this all week. I, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but I tend to wear a hat for a week and then I switch to another one. So the first game on my list tonight is Star Master. So I'll call up the information that I have on that. So Star Master is cartridge AX-016. It was released in 1982 and it uses the joystick. And so I am my Wicco Command joystick here that I'm playing with. Uh... This is a game I didn't have as a kid, but I do remember playing it. I don't know who had it, but um, I know I played it somewhere. You know, but this is also very similar to a couple other space games that are out there. There's Star Raiders, and then there's uh, Space War by M Network. And, uh, you know, Star Raiders, it's very similar because this has a galaxy map, but you don't need to use a touchpad. Use your uh, TV type color black and white switch. To switch to the star map. Um, so this game came out in 1982 and that, that partially means that uh, it was kind of at the forefront for these kinds of games. I don't remember, I don't recall Star Raiders when Star Raiders came out. I think it was very similar but with this game you didn't ha need the extra perif peripheral to play it. So, and like I said, you use your black and white color switch to change between the galaxy map and the first-person cockpit view. You jump, jump into the map where the enemies are located and destroy them as soon as possible. You need to keep track of your energy and also the damage to your ship. If your ship is damaged you're running, or you're running out of energy, you can dock with a friendly space station. And those are located on the galaxy map. And it, it will replenish your energy. Excuse me. And also repair any damages that your ship has incurred. So this game actually does not tabulate your score. I had to look up online to how to calculate your score. Um, so this is one of the few games required use, requires that requires you to do math to basically get your score. Um, so your score equals the, the, the number of bases you have plus 100 times E, which is your energy level. And then S plus 100 times D. So S, S, D, and B and E. So as I said, Star Master is my first game. So here's the cartridge. And if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see that uh, I had some problems with these cartridges. And I actually had some problems again tonight with this one. Um, I have three of these games and a week ago. None of them worked. I've been cleaning them and doing a lot of TLC with a lot of them. This one, once I got it to work, I, I brought it up. I, I usually am in the basement, and uh, but I brought it up, and I was, um, you know, playing with the other ones. The other ones work fine now. I believe there might be a little capacitor on these chips. I may be wrong about this, but I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned, and then eventually, um, I uh, I was able to get the uh, the games to start working. I, mean, I left I left them in and powered them up and. Eventually, they just started working. Now, I will say 
that uh, I just cleaned this prior to the stream and uh, I did pull some dirt off of the contacts again. So I don't know if there's dirt in the Atari. You know, I didn't clean this Atari that well. I just have always played with it and uh, it's it's worked fine for me up until this. So the dirt that's on it might be a remnant of not cleaning out the cartridge slot well enough. So I have some contact cleaner. I'll spray it in there and clean it all out real good. So I will put this in the Atari and then I will turn on my stream on my video capture card I believe so it's interesting you you heard that static there um, that just started prior to the show uh, from my VCR I, you know that's something that used to come through all the time but I apparently there's some interference close by that uh, is causing that. So anyway, here we see Star Master, and I'm on E, which is Ensign. And I have to correct something I said before the show. After reading the instructions, um, I realized that it does calculate your score at the end of the game. It's the number, the top number on your galaxy map. So to start the game, you just press reset. I'm going to play it in Ensign, so I'm going to press reset, and we'll just start playing. Okay, so I'm in a clear space, so I'm going to switch to black and white. And here you see the galaxy map. The little dots are the enemy fighters. I'm the little plus, and the star bases are there. So I'm going to go to this one since it's got three enemies in there coming after my uh, star base. Okay, so the map is red, so that means you're in an enemy. Nope. Damaged my radar. Damaged my lasers. So, I gotta immediately go to a base. Because I can't shoot them. I can't shoot anything. So now it's blue, which means there's a star base close by. See, and he comes in and out, and I think my uh, engines are damaged too. Mm. Because the climb I pushed down. So there, I'm repaired. So switch back, and we're gonna go to these guys again. <clears throat> ah, my shields are damaged. I guess one hit with your shields down, you die. So I'm going to reset, start all over. Okay. So I'm going to go to these guys again. So I destroyed him there. There's still at least one enemy. So it's green, so that means I destroyed all of them, but my warp engine is damaged, so it means I'm gonna use twice the energy to get to the star base. So I'm gonna go down to this one.
I'm just avoiding those comments. <clears throat> I'm still getting used to the thing because it was messed up last time. Ugh. There we go. Go back to my galaxy map. came up. So that's blue, so that means I shot the laser. There, I shot him. So it's green, so that means I killed them all. Back to my galaxy map. So there's one guy here. And two guys over there. So I'll destroy one of these guys. So I destroyed him, not without taking a lot of hits, but so I'm going to go here and I'm going to dock with the Starbase. So I'm going to go all the way over here and take these two guys out. And there's a reason behind it. I believe your energy level at the end of the game is partly responsible for your score. So I just want to shoot one guy at the very end. dude here. Okay, so he's dead. So now, switch color, back to color. So now I'm going to go here. I know I'm going to lose points because I'm docking. Oh, crap. Well, now I hurt myself. But I know I'm going to lose points because I'm docking, but, you know, I'm hoping to gain more points. There we go. Color black and white. Go to the last enemy on the screen. See, he's close by. It's all... Oh, crap. My shields. I'm not paying attention. get out of here as quickly as possible. There we go. So now I'm going to go back to this guy and pay attention so that I don't hit any... Uh, Asteroids or whatever those are. Drive them off the screen. 
Man, I had a chance there. I could have destroyed him. Man, he's using up all my energy. Ah. This guy's killing me. So I'm going to go back to my map and I'm going to hyperspace out of there. Crap. back to this star squadron fighter I don't know not gonna get me again mr. asteroid well at least I hope you don't man I That did not hit me, that's crap. This guy is firing on me like... This is ridiculous. again. I swear in practice I had nothing like this. It's like all of a sudden I'm in the A difficulty or something. start it one more time. I'm going to do it like I did it when I was practicing, which is to go for the singles first, because I was afraid of the groups of three ships. That guy was better than any of the other ships that I faced. and be difficult. This is that guy again. I guess there's some ultimate uh, bad guy out there. Alright, so I'm up here. This is risky. I might need to hightail it out there, out of there, because my fuel is getting low.
dead. Hmm. Alright, I'm mad because I've finished this game like 20 times. This is the first time I've never finished it. Especially on this level. I guess these singles are harder than anybody else. You know, if I had just refueled in between those, I probably would have been fine. Normally it's as simple, they show up. They show up and you uh, pull them onto your screen. So it's green, so I killed him. Like that, that's normally what it's like. These guys getting in 40 shots, that's ridiculous. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, he moved. I guess it's in your field of view when it gets its maximum diameter to hit you. This is that guy. And I can't seem to hit his laser shots. Pay for it though. Where did that come from? Maybe I'm playing at a higher level than I was when I practiced the other cartridges, but I need to uh, go grab one of those other ones because I was honestly killing it. Shields. Oh, that's a problem with using the color black and white switch. <laughs> so I accidentally turned the game off. So I will, uh, I will end Star Master here. I've been playing it for a little while now. So, um, 
Yeah, it's actually, it's pretty fun. Like they said, uh, it's, uh, it's something else. So the next game on my list today is Mega Mania. So I'll put that in, fingers crossed. And it's not working. And all these work prior to doing it. There we go. Just didn't have it shoved in hard enough. Sometimes you really have to pack it in the machine. Okay, so I will call up my information on Mega Mania. Uh, sorry. My screen is maximum, so let me get this keyboard and escape. There we go. So we're looking to put it back here. Sorry, I apologize. I'm going to call up my information on Mega Mania. So Mega Mania is cartridge AX-017. It was also released in 1982, and it also uses joystick. <clears throat> so Mega Mania is another game we didn't have when I was a kid. Um, the gameplay is intense, and I remember the commercials at the time uh being pretty intense as well they had a rock song playing mega mega mania you know in the background and you know all this stuff is pretty much flying at you um i didn't really play it that much as a kid i didn't know anyone that had it specifically i did think i played it but it's probably just you know some kid's house we went to it they had the game we played it and i've not played it that much here in practice for this game so i apologize if i'm terrible um First screen, no problem. Second screen, okay. Third screen is pretty tough. Uh, Mega Mania gameplay re uh, resembles Astro Blaster, I guess. And uh, instead of aliens and spaceship, there's various objects such as hamburgers, bow ties, and steam irons that come at you. The object is to shoot them down before the energy bar at the bottom has been depleted, um, all while avoiding the oncoming enemies and their own projectile attacks. So they shoot down at you. Excuse me. And uh, once they get to the bottom of the screen, they scroll back up to the top and come back down. Sometimes, if you only have one guy left, you can wait quite a while till that guy comes back. Especially if you die, because it has to progress through all the ones that are not there. So VGR ratings for this game. The graphics is 3, which was decent. And the playability is 5 for Irresistible. And I've heard a lot of people say that, but they are a lot of people are frustrated with the game too, because it, it is pretty hard. Okay, and so I'll just play game one. Game one is guided missiles. Game three is straight missiles, where you just shoot and forget, fire and forget. There's advantages to that, because you can get out of the way of oncoming fire. Ooh. See, I wasn't paying attention to the fire. Oh, it's a little dark on my screen here, too. I might turn the uh, brightness up of the, or the gamma. Wave two. Definitely need to clear a path. These cookies kill me every time. See? And that's what I was talking about. You have to wait for... Everything to clear. So that's game. So I'm going to start it over. Like I said, I'm not really that good at this game. serious now. So in this wave, I'm probably going to lose uh, my energy 
if anything else, because... Mm. I've made it through to the third one, I, I'm honest. Being honest about that. Mm. Oh, I saw that thing too. I'm gonna turn the brightness up just a little here. Let me, give me a second here. Uh, properties, configure video. Brightness. Okay, so probably that's going to be really washed out, but I might be able to see the uh, laser fire a little better. Oh, yeah. a lot better. Ah, oh, I saw it. <laughs> yeah. So on this level, it might be better just to have him be straight. Having a move See this, I'm gonna pro probably run out of energy as soon as I say something, right? All right. Ah, oh, come on. my god to do that okay i'm excited <laughs> I'm going to switch difficulty. Hmm. Cookies. Oh. Couldn't do anything about that one. Huh? 
Jesus, I missed this thing twice now. I'm gonna have to wait for him to come all the way back around. All right, level three. All right, I'm gonna try it again. Ugh, there's a guy I just killed too. A and B is just the rate of fire. Oh no. It's sad when you've played it enough, and I really haven't played this that much, that you recognize when there's nothing you can do about it. All right. Bugs. Alright, so I'm going to play game three, and that's the straight, let's see how this goes. This is actually a little easier because you just have to worry about... Maybe it's not easier, but... So on this level, I think it's going to be... Just proof I don't know what I'm talking about. I thought this back and forth was what was doing me in. Right, I'm going to play game one just to finish off with something not as horrifying. Almost out of energy. See, I put a lot of pressure on myself to get that first screen. I think it's the fourth one where they, they are in this zigzag pattern. But they come in opposite directions. Each row comes in a different direction.
Yeah, I knew when I didn't get that guy. That was a bad sign. Maybe I'll get past it this time, though. Ugh. Okay, well that's Mega Mania. It's actually pretty fun, you know. They uh, BGR rated it as irresistible, and it's actually pretty fun. It's, it's frustrating, I'll tell you that. And for me, um, frustrating games have always been the most fun. So this brings me to the last game of today. The legendary Pitfall. And so this game, a lot of kids had it, a lot of kids played it. So I'll put this in. And it's not going to work again. Hmm. Maybe my Atari needs cleaning. All of these work just momentarily uh, before the show. And now I'm having nothing but trouble. Okay, ooh, that's super bright. So I'm going to adjust those controls back down. Figure video. Brightness. Okay, all right. So, I will call up the information I have for Pitfall. So, Pitfall is cartridge AX-018. It was released in 1982, and it also uses joystick controller. So, we basically arrived at the game that everyone knows of. Um, Pitfall is legendary. We did not have this when I was younger, um, but my best friend did, so I played it at his house a lot. Coincidentally, my younger brother was a Cub Scout at the time, and he won a contest at the Cub Scout Fun Fair, and he got to choose between Atari games, and one of the games was Pitfall. The game he chose was Bugs by Data Age, and he picked it because the graphics on the box were so incredible for Bugs. He thought this was a 3D game where you're walking through a triangular tunnel and you're shooting at these bugs. And did when we plugged that thing in, I was oh, I just wanted to punch him so hard. You know, that was back in the day, you know, you'd hit your brothers for doing something like that. And you know, I, I basically after that I told him, if you are ever able to pick a game, do not pick one that uses a paddle controller. Typically they're not the games we want to play. And so uh you know, we, we suffered through that, but we were able to play Pitfall at, at my friend's house, and, and he was friends with the guy too, so we all played Pitfall pretty regularly. So basically the gameplay for Pitfall is you run through a jungle and you pick up treasures. I think there's four different types. I think there's money bags, silver bars, gold bars, and diamond rings. There's um, eight of each, so it totals out to 32 treasures in total. The most I've ever gotten is 20, and there's a reason behind that. Um, I played through a game and not died. I, you know, typically through my practice right now, I've, I've, I've died. It's normally, you know, just quick mental errors, but, um, you know, I, I just am getting impatient. So I want to jump and get a, uh, a vine and it's not quite there yet, or it's gone past and I miss it and fall in a, you know, a lake or a pit or whatever those things are. Um, but really the reason why I've only found 20 is I don't like the underground passageways. And I don't like the underground passageways because the scorpions. Because I have not, my timing on that is just not perfect. I freak out because they flip directions while you're under them. And it still bugs me a lot. And I, I played Pitfall 2 and I played a perfect game. I didn't die once, I didn't lose any points. 
Um, I did not get all the points. I was one gold bar short, but it turns out I think it was just killing the rat that I needed to do. Um, but anyway, um, I worked through the scorpions there, but since I've been playing again, scorpions have been my nemesis again. So um, I won't go through the underground passageways. But the thing about the underground passageways is you skip three above ground screens when you go through an underground passageway. So you can actually jump forward to certain parts of the map. So, you know, if I took the time to write down the locations of the um, treasures and the passageways, then I would probably, or, you know, probably I could go online too and find a map that says this is the route to take to get all 32 treasures. You know, if I could get over the stupid scorpions, I would do that, but I can't. Um, Besides the scorpions, there's other there's other enemies in the games. There's rolling logs that'll take away points. Alligators that will eat you. Excuse me. Um, but you you can hop across their heads to get across the the pond that they're in. Um, there's quicksand. There's uh, I guess they're tar pits or just bottomless pits. There's rattlesnakes. There's campfires. And timing is of the essence in this game, and you can easily find yourself running out of time before you obtain all the treasures. So VGR ratings for this game, the graphics are rated 4 for good, and the playability is 5 for irresistible. So all three games today that we've played, it's kind of in my wheelhouse. This is when I was really starting to play games, and I didn't really play Mega Mania that much. I did play Star Master. I'm surprised that I lost at Star Master because normally I just breeze right through it. I'm like, well, this is nothing. <laughs> Um, I was expecting to do that tonight, and I was going to play a harder level just to see what they were like. But anyway, um, all, five, all three games had five ratings, and this is kind of my wheelhouse when I was, you know, at my prime for playing Atari. This, you know, going, maybe not the games tomorrow, but, you know, there's Spider Fighter this week. There's some really good games. You know, this was really kind of like the heyday uh, for Activision when they were putting out a lot of good games. So here we see Pitfall. 20 minutes, three lives, let's go. Now, I've seen David Crane interviewed, and he's amazed that people go to the left because he said the harder challenges are to the left, but I think it's easier to deal with them from the left, especially the alligators or crocodiles or whatever you want to call them. Because um, you can jump right to the head, jump through all three heads, and then wait till the mouth closed, run over it, and jump. So... Um, I'll play this and we'll see we'll see how I do. Hopefully I'll play all twenty minutes. Not die, but <laughs> probably get only about twenty treasures. Treasure treasures. So I think just to start, I think the game is actually waiting for you to move your joystick. So I'm just gonna go. I'm surprised they didn't get sued because that's so much like Tarzan's call. Now there you see I hit a log. I don't normally hit the log. Ugh, I don't normally fall down, but I'm talking. I'm usually just... Goodness. Timing's off now. There's a rattlesnake. There's a brick wall. I knew that was going to happen. I'm like... The timing is way off right now. Ever since I hit that log, normally I don't hit those logs. And see, running this way, you run with the logs. So if you stop, it's a problem. But if you continue to run, there's no issue. Instead of having to jump over it pretty much twice... Okay, so here's the first alligator pit. You gotta be careful about jumping when their mouths are open. Because if you just tap it a little bit... Ah, that's... See, that's... That's always... That one always gets me. There's, there's money. Uh, 
Because he... Oop. Oh. Normally, when you come from the left, your timing is such... Woo. Oh. See, I'm talking. So if I die, I'm just going to stop talking and just play, because I know I, I'm making stupid mistakes here. Now, there I could have gone. I'm just going to run over it now. You don't need to swing. Now here I'm going to wait. I'm, for some reason, I'm not... I'm letting go of the joystick when I jump. Now we're going to come in a series of Cobras here, so... Ugh, that was terrible. too far. So that's game. So I'm going to reset. Um, I'm not going to talk here. I'm just going to play. Um, close.
And I probably could have made that, but I decided to wait. I've already wasted one life. I would have thought the logs would have been the thing that would give me the most trouble. I don't know, maybe maybe I don't have the joystick lined up properly. I always like to jump towards the end of those pits. too long. Oh no, I jumped that way too early. I don't know what I was thinking there. Thank you. 
No. What was I saying about impatience earlier? Okay, one more try. Probably could have made that one. I'm gun shy now.
Oh my god. Alright, that was just stupid. I'm just gonna reset this. I got lucky on that one. Probably not going to Alright. I'll finish out those lives, but... I can't jump forward. See, I can... I can take two steps, but that's not doing good on the... Time I need to just take a jump. See, my timing's off because this. I don't know. There's some kind of delay or lag or something. I wasn't getting it when I was playing on my regular TV, but through this stream. Some kind of problem. Ooh, that was close. That was close again.
Man, I thought I hit that thing. I thought I jumped way too early. I thought for sure I'd qualify for the Explorers Club. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe do an extra after I'm off my stream and play it again and qualify for the Explorers Club. Put that little extra on there. So anyway, that's my stream for today. I hope you had a nice Memorial Day. Um, it's getting late, and uh, you know I uh, probably need to render this video and upload it to YouTube. So if you like content like this of retro games or legacy games, as I call them, please like, subscribe, and follow on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. I'll be back tomorrow with three additional games. And as always, be healthy, be safe, wash your hands, and social distance. I appreciate you watching. Thank you, and have a good evening.